Hey guys, I'm Rick the Intern. And I'm Ruth. And it's time for another episode of Friday Fossil Mystery. Recently at the Cooper Center, we've been curating a lot of Robinson Ranch fossils. A lot of them, trust me. This fossil's from Robinson Ranch. As identified by our Paleontologist of the Week, Bobby Bossenecker, this fossil is the shell remains of an Inoceramus bivalve from the Cretaceous of Orange County. Found in the 55 meter thick Holt Shale member of the Ladd Formation, this extinct genus of bivalve has been found with many other species of bivalve. A lot of them. Based on the research of paleontologist Frederick Sundberg... Oh, Frederick Sundberg! I know that name. <laughs> very good, Ruth. In the 1980s, we now know that these bivalves formed about four different marine paleo communities that are stacked on top of each other stratigraphically. On the bottom of the Holt Shale, we have the Inoperna glycimeris community that lived in the calmer waters offshore. Above that, the Parallelodon Phyla bivalve community can be found, and they live slightly further offshore. The Philododerma pseudoperna community can be found on the next layer above, and finally, at the top of the Holtz member, the Inoceramus acela community can be found. This community lived in shallow, restricted waters, which most likely meant some kind of lagoon. By looking at the changes in the communities over time, Soonberg was able to determine that the environment that created the Holt Shale had also changed over time, starting as a deeper and open marine environment and eventually becoming a shallow lagoon as seen at the top of the layer. It's research like this that we as paleontologists use to help us learn more about past climate change and how it affects the environment around us, which we then use to help us learn more about how climate change can affect us today. Isn't science just awesome? So congrats again to our paleontologist of the week, Bobby Bossenecker. And now it's time to move on to this week's fossil mystery. Here's this week's fossil mystery. And as a hint, it has to do with coral. And as a fun fact, our director, Dr. Lips, is currently researching these fossils. Well, that wraps up this week's episode. As always, post your answers on our Facebook or Twitter pages, and please subscribe to the Cooper channel. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Friday Fossil Mystery. We're going to be taking a short break for a few weeks, but please remember to subscribe to the Cooper channel so you can see all the other cool stuff we have coming. See you guys then.